thousands of holidaymakers expected to make their way to Guazul Natal ahead of the Day of Reconciliation tomorrow. Now, many will take to the province's beaches and other places of entertainment, but concerns still abound around COVID-19 and the Omicron variant, which are still wreaking havoc in our country. Our reporter, um, Goskona Duma, is in Durban and joins us live now to share some of what the authorities there are doing in preparation, uh, particularly when it comes to safety on the roads. Goskona, very good morning to you. My understanding is that you may have the minister, Figilim Balula. One of the questions, Goskona, that... I beg of you to ask the minister, is about the mess at Prasa. The CEO there, who was recently booted out, he seems to be challenging his dismissal at the Labour Court. The Transport Minister has been very quiet around this. But that's a side matter. Let's focus on what the authorities there are doing to make sure that this festive season is safe on the roads. Well, Chloe, good morning. Yes, we will definitely pick up that, cut, that question when, uh, you know, we get an opportunity to speak to Minister Phil and Balula. But uh, on Durban, on KwaZulu-Natal as well, I will tell you that many here in the province are actually, they actually want the festive season to be, uh, to run well and to be a successful one. And I'm talking about, uh, you know, many uh, public officials, especially those whose mandate, of course, is to ensure that w the tourism sector thrives as well as businesses that have, you know, been affected. And I guess many holiday makers who haven't been we've really been able to fully enjoy leisure, you know, since the, uh, you know, the arrival of COVID-19 in the country. Of course, concerns now are arising about the issues of safety. The country is, of course, under alert level one, which allows, you know, for a, 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 a greater number of gatherings amongst people. You know, also interprovincial travel is not prohibited, and uh, you know, amid the COVID-19 variant. And so, right now, we are joined by the um, actual the KZN police spokesperson, Priyadia J. Naikam, who's just going to details to us, uh, uh, you know, their plans here as 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 the police. Priyadia, I guess this is quite an important time for people. It's been a difficult year, and leisure is certainly quite necessary for people to be refreshed. But how then are you going to make sure that such leisure does not, you know, get out of control? into becoming lawlessness. Absolutely. We always welcome visitors to KZN and we want them to enjoy themselves and be safe during the, their visit to the province. But also, you know, we are appealing to people also to, to, you know, have a little bit of restraint. We know it's the festive season and people are enjoying themselves. Alcohol does flow freely during this time of the year. That sometimes poses a problem to us, so we're asking people to behave themselves. In terms of the uh, security forces, we will work under the umbrella of the provincial joints, and this includes all security forces and other government departments, including your metro polices, your road traffic inspectorate, uh, even the SNDF uh, sits on that. And so, so we tailor our plans working with them and look at all the threats that we may have and uh, come together. So even our operations, you will see, is uh, multidisciplinary. So when you encounter a roadblock, when you're in the province, you will see there's um, multiple forces at those roadblocks looking at various aspects uh, around crime and, uh, and other issues. Um, so we, we are in place, but look, we, whilst we're looking at the tourist hotspots, uh, especially around Etiquini, we also have to pay attention to our rural areas, the outlying areas outside of Etiquini, because those also become a problem during the festive season. We just recently seen uh, this week two incidents where we, we found the bodies of five family members in the Boston area who were killed in an apparent family feud. Uh, we also had six people that died in Fulweni uh, that were killed seemingly because of uh, the allegations coming from the community of drug use and stuff like that. So those type of mass murders generally occur around this time of the year. So our police forces in those areas, also in the rural areas, need to step up their operations. We're relying heavily on, on, on intelligence in terms of any threats that may occur, especially around these family feuds and other issues. So it's quite a comprehensive plan. Um, we have to have, um, you know, also we will um, rapid uh, 
uh, response teams in place should you know any anything that's out of the ordinary occur so that we can uh, deploy these members under short notice to assist those police stations where there's problems occurring. Well, thank you very much, Brigadier Jainaika. That was the KZN police spokesperson, Mr. Brigadier Jainaika. And he's saying, of course, that you know, police have developed a comprehensive plan to deal with possible lawlessness that could arise during a festive season. But he's saying that, of course, their guard is not, uh, is not let down on uh, you know, criminality that could occur, that you know, could occur outside the uh, festivities of the festive season. Konaduma, thank you very much for that update. We'll continue to cross to Ngos Kona throughout the course of the day.